previously on FNAF World Simulator. I'm so confused. How do you jump? Okay. What the heck? How? It's not possible. What? How? Are you jump? Crash. Oh, jeez. Just press the button. No! I was right there. You can't even <laughs> you can't make it more toxic than that. Oh, head to the no. What? Die. I wanted. I'm gonna need therapy after this crash. Get out of here, you punk! Dude, I don't know if I have the energy just to even read the dialogue. No. 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 Not again. I'm not ready. Hey YouTube, this is Andrew 2468 back with another FNAF World Simulator video, and guys, we are back. It's been a while because I had so much going on. Uh, a lot of drama in my life. A lot of, uh, no voice in my life. Because <laughs> I lost my voice recently. And then, um, yeah, just wasn't feeling good, friend issues, yeah, there's a lot going on in my life, um, but hopefully I'm back. <sighs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. I, like, do I want to go through pain again? Uh, my first time back in a while, and, uh, I'm probably gonna lose my voice again after this video. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But anyways, uh, we're, we're back. Anyways, all right, let's let's just let's just get the pain over with, shall we? Here you are. I'm impressed by you making it past both of my friends. I am the last rainbow. You will have to fight before you can lay your hands on that power orb. Look, I don't brag, but if I did brag, I would say that I'm the master at this strat uh, style of battling, and that my abilities are greater than both of my friends combined. And that I am totally thrash you with ease. Good thing I don't brag. Oh no 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 no. You think I you think I fall for that bullcrap? No no no. You always brag. You always torture me. I hate you. You made me lose my voice last time, so I couldn't upload for a week. And yeah, I, I just hate you. I really hate you, Rainbow. Don't be discouraged though. You still stand a chance against me. Even if it happens to be a very small chance. Anyway, allow me to establish what this battle will be all about. The hit point system will make a return. Whoever ends up having their hit points reach zero loses. You get the drill. For this battle, you, there will be a trick active at all times. The one where once you start moving in one direction, you can stop moving until you hit a wall. Similarly to the previous battle, I will place rainbow blocks all over the arena, and you will have to make your way to the top to reach a button. Press the button to launch a cannonball, and voila! I lose one hit point. With my rainy day 2 attack, I will summon several clouds and spread them across the arena. If you stand below one of the clouds, you will get struck by lightning. I will also use my fourth wall to attack. If you get hit by it, not only will you take damage, 
but you will also get stunned and stop moving temporarily. Before we start, I will share with you some advice for this battle. And believe me, you're definitely gonna need it. Alright, hit me. What, what's this stupid advice that you're gonna tell us? <sighs> this battle relies heavily on timing. You must always move at a very right moment if you wish to get through all the upcoming challenges. This is obviously not going to be easy. You should pay close attention to the patterns and analyze when you have the best opportunity to move. Also, you should try to get a good feel of the speed of your movement so that you can have a better idea of when you should move to avoid the obstacles. Oh gosh. That about sums it up. Let's not waste any more time and jump into action right now. This is going to be fun. No, it's not. No, it's not. Anyways, I'm already here. Oh, gosh. So we don't have to face any fourth walls yet. Okay. Easy so far. Should not have said that. Okay, we got that. We got that. We got that. That's easy. And as soon as that comes along, go right here, then here. Come on, move. Don't don't do that to me. Woo! Ow! Oh! oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh! That hurt. Boom, boom, boom. Screw you! Screw you! I hate you! I hate all your friends! Don't- <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Damn. I don't even know when to go there yet. Oh! Dang it, bro. That hurt. Oh! Ugh. Go. Woo! Ah, oh, okay, I got that one. I got that one. I know what to do there. You're not gonna send forth wall, are you? No, you are! <laughs> All right, already at three. Let's go. We got this. We got this, guys. So far, so good. I'm calm. I'm calm. You gotta be calm for this. Calm for this. All right. There we go. Go down. Go like that. And then... Oh! Ugh, ugh. Oh! Struck me twice! I can see where this is going to get a little tricky. But you know what? I have no fear. There's dangers here. Right? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm right in the rain. I'm in the storm. <laughs> I'm going to die. Oh! Oh! Now this part... I don't know when I don't know when to go. Maybe we go once it reaches the top. Oh. Oh, that that's wait. What am I doing? Am I stupid? I must be dumb. And now we go. What? I'm uh, I'm dead. I <laughs> Okay. We go once it reaches the top, remember? Boom! <laughs> Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now for this, we, we go when it reaches the 
Way up now. Does it go all the way? Okay, I was gonna say. Nope, no, 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 no. I, I messed up. I messed up. Well, at least we get to experience this part. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. How, how, why? Why is this? Why is this? So there's a pattern here when they both go up while that goes down. All right. Wow, you need to time this perfectly. Oh, wait. There was a pattern where they all went up. The heck? Oh, wait. Now they're sinking. I'm going as soon as the fourth wall. I heard it. Uh, oh, what the heck? Yeah, you know, wait till it goes past again. Then I will see what's what's happening. How on earth do you do that? That's the that's the next question. Oh, it gave me an extra life. It's like, you know what, Danger? You're struggling here. You're starting to struggle. Why don't I just hand you an extra life? You might need it. Oh, thank you, game. Appreciate it. Okay, focus on the middle dot. As it touches the bottom. Right? Hey! We oh, oh no. That hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, we did it! Woohoo! Yay! Alright, I don't know why you guys are so excited there, but... Because it's not over, but... Uh... <laughs> Dang it! Oh. What the heck? What the. What? Wait. Bum, 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 bum. Wait. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that was driving me insane. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. bum. Ooh! Okay. I'll take that. You, you just go. You just okay. What? Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Then you go. You go down. Press the button. Gotcha. Okay. It's like a spring-loaded trap. You follow it. You just follow. Uh oh. Too, too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Now. Now you go up. You know what? I can afford it. I can afford it. I have lives, baby. I have lives. Let's go. Okay. What the heck? Why do I keep going that way? This is the last level, by the way, guys. Go. 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 It's a race. It's a race. It's a race. It's a race. Don't touch me. Go. Woo. <laughs> Go. Oh, what the heck? Whoa. Now, how does this work? I guess I just go and experiment. There we go. Oh, that hurt. 
I didn't know that hit me. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go. We just gotta keep going. There we go. That. I'm going. I'm just. I'm just gonna go for the button. <laughs> yeah! Get out of here! You're not. You're not even close. That like. The, the golden tooth rainbow was way worse than this. Uh. Huh? Huh? How is this possible? You managed to beat a whole trio of rainbows in this style of battling? You've never done this before. It went against all of us. That's right, rainbow. Get out of here. No more losing voices or anything. You stop me, stop me from uploading. I hate you. I hate you, rainbow. Never, ne you know what? Never forget about this, Rainbow. Never forget about this. I'm done. I'm done with you. Okay, nice talk. I have never seen such an unusual amount of talent in anyone before. You are a very special group of people. You absolutely deserve to keep our power orb. Let's go. I'll go meet up with the other two Rainbows in the next area. Head on over there, and we'll hand you the power orb. Hmm. What did you just say? A white rabbit? Telling a story? Whoa. So you are the people he was talking about. I was starting to think the rabbit was just pranking us. <laughs> and that the team was described never existed at all. That explains why you are so good in battle. You are the team of heroes, so of course you would be skilled. If that's the way it is, then I guess I must do what I promised I would. Listen closely now, as I tell you the third and final part of this story. Oh snap guys, here we go. Sometime after the previous conversation White Rabbit had with Rain Bear, where he told him about the special clocks that can save the Guardians, Rain Bear went to talk to him once more, wanting to share some news. Flashback. <laughs> hey, White Rabbit, what's up? The team that is going to take Freddy down has recruited plenty of party members already. So now it seems they are finally ready to begin their quest. Isn't that exciting? I am aware of the recent progress. Evidently, I wish them well on their journey. Well, I cannot help but feel concerned. Don't waste your energy getting worried. Root for them instead. They will have to face many dangers. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> uh, that, sorry, that wasn't funny. But I'm sure that they can handle any obstacles that come their way. I am maintaining myself hopeful, but it is unwise to turn a blind eye to the fact that there is a chance the team will fail in their mission. You cannot be sure they will make it through any and all challenges. That is called optimism, White Rabbit. What's the point in focusing on the bad? We have been on a gloomy mood because of Freddy for, for long enough. You can and should be optimistic, but cautiously. Understanding and being prepared for all possible outcomes. For instance, have you considered how the clocks may be hidden with a degree of intricacy? That would require weeks or perhaps months for them to be found. By then, Freddy will already have taken over. And what if they are located in areas that are far too troublesome to reach? What I fear is that if any of this were to be the case, the team would have to give up on gathering the clocks and choose the easier path bringing about the end of the Guardians. Which we didn't do, by the way. We saved all of them. What are you saying? Dude, of course they wouldn't give up. Do you have any idea just how determined these, these people are? They would keep on searching for the clocks no matter how hard it could be. All I'm getting from your rambling is that you don't believe in them. That's a fact, Red Bear. Thank you, Red Bear. I appreciate that. White Rabbit! How dare you? How dare you, White Rabbit? Come on. I have not once stated I do not believe in the team's potential. They are determined, but they are not perfect. You're wrong, White Rabbit. I know those guys. And they are the most determined people 
I've ever met. They would never back out of a challenge, no matter what. Yeah, that, I mean, first of all, that's true, because, um, I have beaten Freddy blindfolded, I've done the T-Post challenge, I, I've done so many challenges, and beat Supreme Fredbear on extinct mode when I didn't have to. I am the master of challenges when it comes to this game. So don't try me. You know what? I was going to tell the team about the clock so they would save the Guardians. But now, I'm just going to do the exact opposite. I will tell them to kill the Guardians instead. They will hear my instructions to kill the Guardians, but knowing them, they will ignore me and search for a way to save the Guardians. You know why? Because they never give up on doing the right thing. That's a fact! Oh my gosh, Red Bear! Woo! Oh my goodness. Look. Man, Red Bear's hyping me up. I like this. I like this. They will find about the clocks on their own and save all the Guardians and then save Animatronica. Only then you will realize you were wrong to have doubt in them. Red Bear, do not be imprudent. You are willing to put the lives of the Guardians at even a greater risk just to prove your point. What if the team actually follows your orders? What if they are unable to find any method of rescuing the Guardians? Ugh, there you go again. I'm not putting anyone's life in risk, because there is no risk. I know they won't follow my orders or give up, because I know th how determined they are. You'll see. Clearly, convincing you is out of my reach. I cannot stop you from going through with this irresponsible act. Just know that if anyone perishes, I shall leave animatronica and never return. I wouldn't want to live in a place that is nothing but a shadow of what it once was. Wow. This explains so much about White Rabbit because, um, do you remember way, way back when I killed, uh, Lulbit? I didn't know that it was wrong at the time. I was trying to find White Rabbit in the second world and they weren't there. So, that just explains so much about the story. And if if you kill a guardian, White Rabbit just leaves because White Rabbit just doesn't agree with killing the guardians. Wow. Okay, the story is really good. You're not going anywhere because everything will turn out all right. I wish you could understand that. I think I see the team passing by. I'm going to talk to them now and start guiding them. Bye. Wow. My gosh. And this is the conclusion of the story. As you <laughs> expect after hearing all of this, my friends and I were left utterly confused. So we asked a few questions. First, we asked why he wanted that team to know th about this story. White Rabbit said that he wanted you guys to know about the story because he thought you deserved to know about the reason why Red Bear started guiding you. And that Red Bear did not wish for the Guardians to die, even though he oriented you to kill them. Afterwards, he asked why he can't just tell the story himself. He told us that in case any of the Guardians died, he would leave Animatronica and never talk to anyone there again. That is why he asked other people to tell the story for him, in case he did end up leaving. We then asked why he chose specifically the three of us to ask for a favor. At first we thought he must have asked us because we looked really cool. But nope. First of all, you do not look cool. <laughs> I hate you, Rainbow. And I always will. Always will. <laughs> he was just walking around and asked the very first people he saw. We couldn't think of any more questions to ask, so we just said goodbye to White Rabbit, White Rabbit, and we never saw his face again. I wonder how he's doing. Greetings, it is once I again. I appreciate that you and your partners fulfilled what I had asked of you. Fortunately, Red Bear turned out to be right in the end. This team had true wisdom to do the right thing. 
Hey, it is me, Red Bear, the one from the story. Thank you guys for telling this story to them. We really do deserve to know about this. Looking back now, the way I acted was really stupid. <laughs> White Rabbit, I really owe you an apology. I'm sorry for doing something so dumb. Believing that this team would succeed was fine. But regardless how determined they are, thinking they can do no wrong was just being silly. You are forgiven, Ray Red Bear. The ability to recognize one's mistakes and to repent for them is something I value greatly in people. Wait, what? You are White Rabbit? Sorry, I kind of forgot what you looked like. Also, you are Red Bear from the story? I never thought I'd ever get to meet you. I'm happy to hear that both of you have everything sorted out now. This story does have a happy ending after all. All right, everyone. I will be reuniting with the other two rainbows in the next area. Meet me there to earn your prize, the power orb. Let's go! Woo! Yeah, let's go. The next power orb. I think it's the yellow one, if I'm correct. My gosh, we did it, guys. We did it. I can't believe it. And we go down here to get our power orb? A very cool, very cool. Awesome. There you are. We had a lot of fun times together, didn't we? We chatted, we told you a story, we battled, and you actually demolished us in fighting style. We thought we were the professionals at. Truly an unforgettable experience. All of us were amazed by your incredible fighting skills. We thought if they are this skilled and style of battling, They'll never even tried before imagining just how good they must be in a regular battle. That's a fact. What? You can probably tell where this is going. We challenge you to another battle, and this time in a typical way. We may prefer the other style, but we got a couple of tricks up on our existent sleeves for this style as well. What? This isn't over? This is all just for fun and games. You have already earned the power orb. We just really, we're just really curious to know how talented you are in something you're actually used to. As soon as you're, as soon as the battle's over, the orb will be yours. Ready? Then let's go. Oh my goodness. These guys really think you're going to battle me in a 2.0 battle system? When you're used to a 3.0 battle system. No, 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 no. No, no. The 2.0 battle system is in my domain. I make the rules here. So prepare to get wrecked by fourth walls. Screw you, and let's do this. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Fourth wall two. Happy jam, happy jam. Fourth wall two, fourth wall two. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Switch, 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 switch. Okay, okay, they're actually a lot tougher than I imagined. Cupcake. Oh no, I'm not fast enough. I'm not fast enough. No! No, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Please! They can't beat me up. You can't, you can't haunt me, bro. That's not, no, that's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, heck no. Right, you know what? Yeah, yeah, screw you, screw you rainbows. <laughs> 